What's up dudes? You know me, I like to keep videos short and simple, but unfortunately with the Izanami Forge being out, the quest for it is pretty lengthy, and this is as short as I can get it to give you all the information that you would need, so I'm sorry for the lengthy video. But anyways, let's get started and get right into it. So first things first, the Izanami Forge is unlocked by killing Vex. So what I did is I went to Artifacts Edge, like you see here, and as soon as you log in, you're going to go left to the Lost Sector. So Lost Sector right here, go in, there's nothing but Vex in here, so just keep killing them, and eventually you will see one of these drop. So as soon as you pick it up, it's going to say Vex Transponder. And what you have to do is kill now a hundred Vex. So what you need to do is just repeat this Lost Sector until that gets completed basically. So just keep walking back in, keep supering, keep clearing ads, and eventually you'll see that pop up on your screen. And that part of the quest is now complete. Now it says Spire Integration. You need to go to the Hollows to do this. It's the public event on the Hollows and you must make it heroic by charging these three plates. There's one across from me and one to the left of me from here. So you might need a team, you may not, but get that done and you'll see that pop up once you're finished. Now once that gets finished, you're not even close to being done, man. You gotta kill 20 Minotaurs. So what I did is I launched the Glade of Echoes and headed that way. You can also launch the Vex Strike on Nessus, the one with the sniping Hobgoblin. I didn't feel like fast traveling or traveling to a lot of different locations, so I just remained on Nessus for this. I went to the back of Glade of Echoes because there's also a Vex public event that happens right here, one of the Spire integrations. And then there's also, if you go back farther in the Glade of Echoes, you'll see this one Minotaur that'll spawn around every like two minutes. So you can kill him and do the public event. It probably takes you around doing two public events and killing that single Minotaur till it's finished. So it is kind of lengthy, so there probably is a lot faster locations you can do this at. That's just what I did, but it did work. And I got, you know, patrols done for other bounties and things that I had going on as well, aside from unlocking the Izanami Forge. So you can do that if you want to. Now, after you get that finished, now you have to do the signal origin located. So there's going to be a mission that will launch. You'll see it's right here. If you go to Artifacts Edge, you're going to go back to the Hollows. And that's also where the forge will be located once you unlock it. So just take off this way, load the Artifacts Edge, and then go this route you'll fall down into the hollows right here and then at the kind of the back area around where the public event is you'll see a portal that's open so right there is the portal just walk up in there and go all the way to the back you'll have to crawl underneath some stuff or whatever but once you get there it'll have a mission launch sequence so just go over there launch that mission and it's going to take you into the forge but you're not even near doing the forge yet you're just going to go in here, you're going to charge some plates, no spoilers really here, but you're going to charge some plates and do some other kind of stuff in here. It's pretty simple to do, just follow what it tells you basically. And then once you're finished with that, you're going to have a miniature boss fight, and then that is it for that part. Now you're going to get this little contraption here on your screen that'll pop up. It's broken, so it has to be fixed, so you need to go to Ada 1 and show her this broken thing. She will now send you on another quest where you have to do three public events heroic, one for the Fallen, the Glimmer Extraction, one on Titan for the Ritual, and then another Spire integration anywhere in the world basically. So you can do the other ones anywhere in the world, but the Witch's Ritual is going to be on Titan. So you can go to Nessus for this. I mean, this happens everywhere. It happens on EZ, whatever, but uh, Watcher's Grave is where you can do the Spire integration. So just knock that out, charge the three plates, do what you gotta do. The cistern, you can get the fallen glimmer extraction right here. Just make sure you shoot these things right here to turn it into a heroic event on all three segments, three waves of ads basically. And then go to Titan at the rig right here and then charge both the plates once you get inside there. So go ahead and walk inside this room right here. And then you'll probably see some people in here doing the same thing, but you need to charge both of these plates and kill the wizards basically. It turns into a heroic event and then you will battle a huge knight and then basically that part will be now completed that part is pretty lengthy a lot of this is pretty lengthy just so you know man so set some time aside to unlock this forge once you're finished with that it's not even over yet you have to do blended ether collected by basically doing precision kills with fallen 
Then you have to go kill Taken Blights and Lost Sectors on Io. And then there's a mission at the end of that, which is the third part of that. So what I did was I went to Winding Cove, where I always get my precision for my frames. And there is a ship at the Winding Cove that will just keep dropping Fallen. Just chill there until the ship comes. I tried going to the Trostland and some other locations. The Trostland's really busy. A lot of other Guardians doing the same thing. And the ads move around a lot more there, but those are kind of easy. And then second, you have to go to Io to do the Condensed Blights part. So go to the Rupture and do the first Lost Sector there. There may have been an easier Lost Sector, but I didn't feel like traveling around and exploring to find that out. So what I did was I just launched the Rupture and walked straight into the first Lost Sector right here. There's only one Blight inside of here. So what I did was I just went inside, popped it, walked out, walked back in, popped it. I just did that five times. Each time counts as 20% for it completed. So just do that. It's you know better than trying to hunt around for you know another one on IO, which I didn't feel like doing. But there may have been a, a better one. But that's just what I did. After that, you're going to get a mission you need to complete, and listen up on this mission because I have some information that really really messed me up. So you'll see the mission right here by the cistern. Go ahead and launch it. Now once you get here and it launches, you're going to kill some ads at first. So just go ahead and knock them out. No huge spoilers here, I'm just going to show you what I did. But right here, you're going to see these plates. You have to shoot these to get them. Now make sure once you get across this portal here, to this side, that you kill the ads that are going to spawn as soon as you land right here. Because if you don't, you're going to get to the very end of all these platforms, and the mission will not end because you didn't kill those few ads right there. Now, if you don't see this video until after you <laughs> you messed up, what, and, you, and you're on a Warlock or a Titan, you can swing your way back across if you need to, but you'll know if you messed up because you'll get to the very last platform and you'll be like, uh, where do I go from here? Because nothing will load and it'll tell you to go way far away, but there's no way to get to the location it's trying to get you to go to. But it's really trying to tell you to go back and kill those ads or kill some ad that you missed. So make sure you just kill everything in this mission, man. Trust me, you will, you will pay for it dearly later. But yeah, just, uh, this is a bit of a jump puzzle, so you're going to get probably a little bit frustrated doing this. Just letting you know. But right here, this is what I had to do to get back across. I had to put on the Tomb of Dawn to where I could float in the sky and put it on Top Tree Solar. And just Icarus dash my way all the way back across just to go kill a Minotaur and a few of the ads so the mission would finally complete itself. So don't make the same mistake that I did here. Kill everything. Please kill everything. <laughs> You'll be so mad. Anyways, after that, now it says you need to do Valunder Forge. So, gotta go back to Valunder Forge now. Go knock that out. So, easy peasy. You've done that probably a million times by now. You may need to get a fire team, or you can do it with randoms, whatever. But once you're finished with that, you have to go back to 801 so she can inspect the igniter. So, go back to 801 now. She's gonna say a bunch of crap like she always does. And then it's going to tell you you need to do the Insight Terminus, the enhanced version, or advanced version, whatever. It's basically a 630 light Insight Terminus. It's not too hard. It might be hard for you. I'm not, I mean, I didn't think it was that hard. I just didn't. It didn't feel like a 630 mission to me. But I was 639 when I was doing this as well. So you may or may not need a fire team. But if you're above 630, you probably won't need a fire team. But there are mods on that basically... If you die, you gotta go back to orbit, and there's Void Burn and some other mods on, so check the mods, yours might be different. After that, you're gonna get another mission you have to do. So, you're gonna, no spoilers here, you're just gonna go basically kill a boss, do some other kind of stuff, it's gonna tell you to return to Ada. Now she's gonna tell you to go get a weapon core obtained by going to the Hollows or Artifacts Edge. So what you do is basically hunt down the Sabotoir and his box and then kill 25 Vex. So just chill here, wait for this guy to appear, kill him to get another little Vex block you need, and then unlock the chest. So shoot the little ghost around the chest, unlock it, that's going to give you your weapon core. If you need to get a few more Vex kills to finish your 25, then do that. But eventually you'll see it pop up on your screen and you'll know that that part of it is now completed. So there you go. You're not finished yet. So now you have to get bow precision kills. <laughs> so bow precision kills as well. Here we go. So go to the sludge. You got to get taken kills also. 
So bow precision and bow taken kills. So just go to the sludge and go to any one of these two lost sectors. They both have taken. So just, you know, chill in here. If you have to enter it, you know, twice or whatever just to get finished with it, then do that. I went to each one of them just to kind of have variety. But once you're finished, it does show you that you are. It'll pop up on your screen saying that, hey, you know, you got the, uh, the weapon frame or whatever, you know, charging. So go ahead and check out your little weapon frame. Now it's going to say you need bow multi-kills. So what I did for this, I went to Mars and I launched the Escalation Protocol. There was a lot of other people doing the same thing. So if that is the case, you might try going to Lost Sectors and stuff like that. Uh, the one at Braytech up top is really good to do because there's a lot of Thrall that gather up. But once you're finished with that, you will do the Radiant Seeds collected, which you're probably used to doing. Just go to a Lost Sector. Each Lost Sector boss on Mars will drop 10. I believe if you go to the EDZ, though, it only drops 2 per Lost Sector boss. But either way, do a Lost Sector. It gives you 10, or do 2 public events, either way. After that, return to Ada 1 and hand it on over. Whew. Long quest, man. Now you got the bow frame. Now all you have to do now, dude, is go do your Izanami. And you are finished, man. And I will have a guide on how to do the Izanami Forge. The best way that I've found so far, which I think is a pretty legit method, dude. But other than that, good luck on your quest. It is about as long as a DLC campaign, just so you know. But I'll catch you on the next one in space, dudes. Later on.